Chapter 496, Kitamura Hirono's Twin Brother The battle between Oda Takuma and Kitamura Kijitori jolted the entire Nishinokyo from their sleep. A flash of a blade and a neighboring house was split in half. Yet neither of them bothered to care whether anyone was injured in that residence. The two figures shuttled back and forth in the forest of steel and cement, leaving everywhere they passed in ruins. The collection of gods was alerted and immediately hurried to the battlefield. Most of them were unsure about Kitamura Kijitori's plan, hence they did not expect that the strong class B conservatives had been lured out, before the people from the Heavenly Network had even been captured. Yeko felt her chest heat up. Although the wounds on a practitioner's body could heal quickly, the attack from Kijitori was rather severe. The only thing that kept her going forth was her curiosity, whether that young man would be willing to save her. She was like the little match girl, who greatly treasured the warmth every matchstick brought. It was right ahead. Yeko could already see the dojo signboard. But it was at this very moment that she suddenly saw Hirono at the doors of the dojo, about to enter. Yeko was dumbfounded and so was Hirono. Yeko finally realized that the Hirono she saw was wearing different clothes from just now. As Yeko recalled the details of what had happened, she realized that she had bumped into two different Kitamura Hironos tonight. What was happening? And why would this Hirono be by the dojo? Hirono, who had been behind Yeko all this time, had just arrived. This Hirono was also shocked. He exclaimed, Who are you? Lu Xu was annoyed. How was it possible that they met by coincidence here? He spent so long running around in fear of being stopped by the collection of gods, yet in the end these two idiots did not bolt behind him, instead, they directly came to stop him. This is bad. Lu Xu felt that his identity could not waver. He could still attempt to save himself. Lu Xu thought for two seconds, before suddenly bursting into pleasantly surprised smile. Hirono, I am your twin brother from different parents. Hirono was silent with shock. Twin brother, from different parents? Do you not have any general biological knowledge? From Kitamura Hirono's distress, plus 999. For some reason, Yeko suddenly blurted out, Kiri Hurricane? Lu Xu stood at the quiet street, looking melancholic. My identity has been shattered. Somehow, Yeko managed to figure out Lu Xu was Kirihara Yusuk when Lu Xu gave off an unnatural atmosphere, as he stood by the doors of the dojo. The instant Hirono saw his exact replica, he recalled the heavenly network who had passed off as him, killing people and writing the character Chai One. The Ninth Heavenly King? Hirono's pupils rapidly contracted. He turned and ran off without any hesitation. Hirono was not stupid. Although he did not know the relationship between this heavenly king and Kirihara Yusuk, but if they could perfectly replicate his physical appearance, then replacing Kirihara Yusuk was not impossible. It was just that everyone had been left in the dark and assumed that Kirihara was highly temperamental. They never thought that his physical appearance could be ever changing. If it were only Kirihara, Hirono would not even care in the slightest. But if his opponent was the Ninth Heavenly King, that would be frightening. He was aware of the massacre that happened at the gates of the Collection of God's Mansion. Eleven Class Ds and one Class C participated in the fight, but they were all killed in just thirty seconds. This was not an opponent that Hirono could face. He had to get the help of his uncle, Teacher Jen. Yeko was now the most confused about the situation. She had thought that Kirihara could not defeat Hirono, but now even if that were the case, their abilities would not differ much. So what was happening now? Are you saying that Hirono does not even have the courage for one battle? What did Hirono say just now? The Ninth Heavenly King. The conservatives were not blind. They certainly knew about his existence. Previously when Nojoa Hakashun was killed, Oda Takuma had seriously discussed with the key members whether they wanted to cooperate with the Ninth Heavenly King to battle the Jingoists. The problem was, if the Jingoists could not find him, the conservatives did not even stand a chance of doing so. 
at first Oda Takuma was worried that they would lead the wolf into the house too, but eventually they could not even find said wolf, let alone lead it in. But it was precisely this person that confused Oda Takuma who had been by her side this whole time. Yeko was very certain that this Kurihara was not the Kurihara she once knew. It was highly possible that the replacement happened during the highly temperamental period. But, if you were to replace such an important person, are you not even in the slightest worried about carelessly breaking down others and creating yourself a new personality? Suddenly, a gigantic golden dragon soared from Lu Xu's body and rushed forward. Lu Xu himself also charged towards Hirono. Lu Xu's murderous intent suddenly rose, ready for the kill. Hirono was momentarily shocked. He realized that there was too much of a difference between his speed and that of Lu Xu's. He grabbed the shuriken in his sleeves and turned to throw them in Lu Xu's direction. However, the two shuriken were swallowed by the golden dragon before they could reach Lu Xu. The small snakes in the dragon bit off one of the shurikens. They didn't kill you. Hirono said in astonishment. The divine water had become Lu Xu's symbol after the battle at Ko Chang Island. As for the two shuriken, Lu Xu had not yet displayed it in front of outsiders before. Even Li Xianyi did not know about this. He had all along thought that his disciple could not even unlock his sea of qi. Hirono never thought that he would meet Lu Xu here. Didn't the Darkness Kingdom confirm the news of his death? Was it Lu Xu himself or someone in the Heavenly Network who had inherited Lu Xu's divine water? Wasn't the Ninth Heavenly King an Earth Element metahuman? False Information Yeko, seeing that Hirono was not Lu Xu's opponent, finally heaved a sigh. She slumped to the ground with fatigue, not knowing what she was thinking. At the very next moment, Lu Xu had rushed before Hirono. He threw a punch and a storm brew. The air before his fist warped under the pressure, followed by the sudden sound of an explosion. Hirono drew his long sword from his waist, but it was too late. Hirono felt that his entire body had shattered in an instant from just a single punch. It was as if the punch was the epicenter of an earthquake. His body was easily crushed and destroyed. He took his last breath. From Kitamura Hirono's distress, plus 1000. Chapter 497, Are You Going to Kill Me? Lu Xu stood still in the street. He was no longer the weak, poor boy who made a living as a vendor selling boiled eggs. Now, he was one of the strongest practitioners in the world, able to defeat a class C pro like Kitamura Hirono almost effortlessly. Yeko gazed at Lu Xu's silhouette with a smile. The world had faded away, and Lu Xu was the only person left in her eyes. He suddenly squatted to pick up Kitamura's katana, and then continued searching for other magical weapons. It felt like she was looking at two lovely smurfs dancing and running against a beautiful background. Oh man. She was losing her sanity. By the time Lu Xu returned, his face had changed back to Kirihara's. At this moment, the door of the dojo was opened. Bundai asked curiously as she eyed Lu Xu, unscathed, and Yeko, who was leaning on the wall feebly, are you done with the fight? Do we need to shift our base? Then, she helped Yeko up and supported her into the dojo, while Lu Xu, following behind, looked at the quiet yard and asked, Sakurai, who else knows your identity? There is no need for any more secrets, she thought. I'm afraid the jingoists will soon come after me. His teacher, Kitamura Kijitori, is engaging in a fight with Oda Takuma at the moment. All the collection of God's masters are probably busy rushing there now. Lu Xu nodded his head. What a pity. His fingers rubbed the fine bamboos in the yard, feeling sorry that they would soon perish. In fact, Lu Xu liked the place, despite not yet being used to the style of its architecture. Lu Xu planned to build a yard in Luo Cheng too, though a more modernized version. It was time to give Lu Xiaoyu a better house with the money he had now. Lu Xu made a bow to Bundai. I appreciate your efforts and hard work for the past days. Please get ready to retreat. What about her? Bundai asked, 
wondering what Lu Xu would do with Yeko. Lu Xu looked over, only to see Yeko's mournful smile. She asked, Heavenly King, my lord, are you going to kill me? If she were Lu Xu, Yeko knew she would do the same. But there would be no more regrets then, since she had come so far, bearing her excruciating pain, just to see whether this, Kirihara Yusuk, would save her. Even though he was no longer the original Yusuk, the one she loved was the man beside her right now. She did not even know Kirihara Yusuk himself. Now, he had shown her that he cared, and her teacher had abandoned her. That was enough. She had found the answers she wanted, while lost she had received what she did not deserve, it was all she had asked for. Her life was complete. Smiling, Yeko begged him, Before I die, can I have a look of your own face, Mr. Heavenly King? Lu Xu was trying not to laugh. Who said I'm going to kill you? I'm taking you somewhere else for you to heal your wounds. After that, you may go wherever you want. Honestly speaking, I think your powers have been restricted by conspiracies and schemes. Why not give it all out in the outside world? However, I'm not going to show you my own face, for you are not dying anyway. Also, I'm not a heavenly king. Don't call me that. Yeko had no idea about Lu Xu's original face. Yet, since Lu Xu's death had been verified by the Darkness Kingdom, it was possible that his divine water had been passed to another person in the Heavenly Network. But Yeko was more inclined to believe that this man was Lu Xu, because the first person killed was Nojoa Takenobu's son, Nojoa Hakashun. Then, should I address you as Lu Xu from now onwards? Yeko tested him. As soon as she finished her sentence, she coughed up fresh blood. Earlier Kijitori had injured her heart and lungs with the blow. Thus, it needed time for her full recovery, though her life would not be threatened. Lu Xu's heart softened. Take some rest. Don't worry too much about meaningless stuff like that. Bundai said from inside her room, please cover Yeko's eyes. Lu Xu did as told. Yeko felt comfortable under the warmth from Lu Xu's palm. At this moment, Bun Dai walked out of her room. Her waist-length long hair had been cut short, and she was dressed in a professional office where with a pair of high heels on her feet. Instantly, she had changed from a gentle, graceful Yamato Nadashiko to a resolute, competent white-collar female worker. Lu Xu almost could not recognize her. Bun Dai made a deep bow to Lu Xu. It has been my honor to work with you. Goodbye. Lu Xu smiled. Thank you. Then, with a roll of burning newspaper, Bun Dai set the entire yard on fire. She walked out first and disappeared into the dark streets, ready to commence her new mission under her new identity. Meanwhile, Lu Xu finally lifted his palm from Yeko's eyes. To his surprise, she had fallen asleep. Or had she fainted? Lu Xu was unsure. But they should not stay any longer at the dojo. Regret welled up in Lu Xu's heart. How good would it be if he could live on with his old identity and continue earning money with this dojo? Life was full of unpredictabilities. Wait a minute. Something was not right. His recent income had been given to Bundai for their living expenses. And now, Bundai had left. What the heck? He had put in so much work and effort into gathering that money. Including so many leaflets. Nia Ting must be behind all of this. There was no other explanation. Lu Xu felt his heart bleeding. With a heavy heart, Lu Xu carried Yeko on his shoulder and walked out of the yard. Once he was out, he saw a flash of light growing brighter right in front of him. Blasts of energy were exploding here and there, with houses being pulled to the ground. He was reminded of Yeko's words. It was a fight between Oda and Kitamura. What? They've come here. Lu Xu was shocked and confused. No way. He immediately ran towards the other direction. But soon, he turned to see the main battlefield shifting towards him. Can you please choose another place? 
Many residents were awoken by the commotion and ran outside for a look. When they saw the fighting, some pulled over their overcoats and ran out, while the rest hid in their own homes, shivering and praying for safety. This was the current situation where practitioners and commoners coexisted. During wartime, the latter did not even have the means to protect themselves. There were a few high-rise buildings in the region. They were mostly individual houses of two to three floors. At this moment, someone shouted from on top, trying to suppress her voice, Kiri Hurricane? Lu Xu froze. Chiba? Mixed feelings welled up in Chiba's heart upon seeing Sukurai Yeko on Lu Xu's shoulder, unconscious. What happened? Are you running away from someone? Please give me a second I'm going down to open the door for you. Chapter 498 The Wrath of the Collection of Gods The encounter with Chiba was unexpected. But thinking about it, Lu Xu had gone home with Chiba before, which meant her house was near the dojo. No, I can't enter her house, Lu Xu thought. Both he and Yeko were wanted by the collection of gods and he certainly did not want to get Chiba into trouble too. Before Chiba opened the door, Lu Xu had run away with Yeko. In fact, he had considered killing her, but could not bring himself to do it. Despite knowing her unfriendly intentions when she approached him, Lu Xu saw sincerity in her eyes in the past few days. Human expressions were never as complicated as comprehension passages. But in the end Lu Xu chose to follow his gut feeling. Besides, what he had exposed was nothing serious. First off, Lu Xu would recover his own identity after the completion of this mission. So it was not a big deal to let Yeko know that he was Lu Xu. Secondly, the divine water had long since been an open secret. As for the mask, however, the only two witnesses, the blood devil and the puppet master, who was still on the run. Thus, the knowledge of the network's possession of the mask could have spread through other means. Therefore, he would be safe so long as his celestial map and two flying daggers were kept secret. Well, it seemed like an appropriate excuse. But before Lu Xu could run far, he heard Chiba shouting behind, Kiri Harikin. Where are you Kiri Harikin? Was she try to call back the bloody spirits? Resigned, Lu Xu ran back at once. Don't shout. You are attracting people here. Chiba pulled him into the house and said, My parents are long-term workers in Okayama. So you don't need to worry about that. What happened to Sakurai? Is she hurt? But Lu Xu refused to enter the house. He explained, She'll be fine if you stop shouting. We can't go in because it may get you into trouble. All right, stay here. I guess they are not going to fight here. I'll continue shouting if you don't come in, Chiba said stubbornly. Then, Lu Xu hit a spot on her neck, knocking her unconscious. He did it properly so that the temporary hypoxia caused by disruption of blood flow in her carotid artery would not hurt her. Then, Lu Xu put Chiba back in her house, before he closed the door and left. The little girl was being willful at the wrong time. At the current moment, the collection of God's forces were everywhere in the vicinity. Following Kitamura Hirono's death and the many house dismantling signs he had drawn, it would have been stranger had they not been looking for Lu Xu. Thus, he could not afford to let Chiba give in to her personal feelings now. When the collection of gods found them, how could Chiba escape, even if Yeko and himself could? Even if she could, what about her parents? Putting his hatred against the collection of gods aside, Lu Xu's conscience could not allow him to bring a little girl and her family into such suffering. Lu Xu continued running, carrying Yeko with him. But where could he go then? At this moment, Chiba's door was open again. She started shouting, Kiri Harakin. Kiri Harak. Her mouth was covered by Lu Xu before she could finish the last syllable. Lu Xu was both shocked and confused. How did she recover so fast? And my friend can you not be so stubborn? Most importantly, now is not the right time for jokes. Lu Xu lowered his voice and asked softly, How come you woke up so soon? After he lifted his hand from Chiba's mouth, 
Chiba replied carefully, don't hit me. There's an attic upstairs and no one can discover it. I think I have, awoken to my powers just now when you hit me. By right, commoners can never wake up so soon after being hit on the carotid artery. But she was a metahuman now. What the heck had happened? Don't fool me. Why is your power awakening even smoother than mine? An indistinct feeling emerged from deep in his heart. Maybe her power had awakened due to her intense concern about Yusuke's safety, together with her anxiety about her inability to offer any help. Too impulsive. Come in. Quick. Chiba pulled Lu Xu inside as she saw a group of people approaching in this direction. Then, they heard someone giving orders outside loudly, seal the place. Lord Kitamura Hirono was murdered nearby. Search for clues. That was followed by a flurry of footsteps. Meanwhile, there was no sign of Oda and Kitamura's fight ending. Lu Xu suspected that luck might not be on Oda's side, because the other Class B master, Takashima Tairatsu, not a humanist, would eventually arrive to assist Kitamura. Oda's demise was only a matter of time. Chiba pulled Lu Xu upstairs, but soon tripped over herself and fell. This was because she had yet to get used to her new strength. Back then, Lu Xu had practiced his sword vigorously with Li Xieni, so as to accelerate the familiarity process with his power gained from the celestial map. Therefore, Kirihara's dojo had actually benefited him through accretion of his powers, which was vital to his rapid growth and strength. Proficient mastery of one's strength came from familiarity and Lu Xu knew it all too well. For exactly the same reason, many practitioners looked down on metahumans, although in reality they had to work equally hard. Li Xieni once said that many metahumans were actively involved in cultivation too. Not to further their strength, but to fully master their powers and develop new ways to use them. Take for example, Howard had gradually found the easy connection between his fire-type powers and the creation of blazing phoenixes through cultivation and practice. Otherwise, he would not have spent so much energy on summoning phoenixes. Actually, power awakening takes a lot of learning too. After Chiba had finally stumbled to the second floor, she pulled down a hidden door in the ceiling and moved a ladder over. Then, she said to Lu Xu, the attic is up there. It's very difficult to see it from below. Now, go and hide there first. Immediately afterwards, there were rapid knocks on the door. Chiba urged nervously, hurry up. I'm going down to let them in. Before she could finish her words, they heard a man's voice outside, shouting impatiently, we are going to break in if there is no one inside. Chiba shouted immediately, coming. Lu Xu frowned. It seemed that the collection of gods were really in a rage, what with all the consecutive murders of their key members. Not to mention Nojoa Hakushun, whose Class B father was already dead anyway. Kitamura Kijitori was a man of high position in the organization. Who knew how many people he would vent his anger on following Hirono's death? Lu Xu calculated the sum of potential distress points. There were more than enough to fuel his sixth star, what about the seventh? Chapter 499, Gnieting's Intention To the collection of gods, Hirono's death was not Lu Xu's fault, but was instead the responsibility of the conservatives. Except the distress points said otherwise. In reality, Lu Xu had done it, so it was really Lu Xu's fault. Tonight, Lu Xu had not appeared in the case of Hirono's death. The battle between the conservatives and the jingoists, as well as the ninth heavenly king, causing havoc were two independent events in the eyes of the collection of gods. But they did not expect that Yeko would stubbornly connect the two cases together. Even Lu Xu himself was very surprised. He had planned on packing up. With Yeko on his back, Lu Xu climbed up into the attic. He made sure to hide all the ladders in the attic. This was to prevent the collection of gods from discovering the attic after associating it with the ladders they would find otherwise. Lu Xu's prudence was out of genuine concern over getting Chiba involved. It was all good if he were acting alone, he could simply change his appearance and lay low after killing someone. The collection of gods had now arrived. 
When they saw Chiba alone at home, they asked with some uncertainty. Where is your family? Chiba, slightly fearful, replied, My father is working in Okayama. The person who had initiated the search glanced over and got someone to do a background check. Within two minutes a confirmation came. She is speaking the truth. The leader nodded his head and said, Was there anyone who walked by just now? And was there anyone who came in to hide? Chiba replied cautiously, There was some large movement just now that woke me up and I looked out of the window. Other than that I didn't notice anything. The first half was correct, but the second half was fake. Chiba felt that her words were flawless. But the collection of gods still had to do a search. The four people split up to check. Even the wardrobes, cupboards and beneath the bed were not left unchecked. This was likely not the first time the collection of gods had done such a thing. Their search was very thorough, normally one could not escape by simply hiding. However, Chiba's attic was well concealed. Meanwhile, Lu Xu took a look around the attic and spotted piles of cash. When Lu Xu saw the cash, he gasped in shock. It took everything he had before he could finally resist the temptation of stuffing all the money into the seal of lands. Damn it, what were Chiba's parents working as? Did they intentionally create a hidden attic to conceal all this cash? The largest Japanese yen bill was 10,000 yen. There was a portrait of a male on the note, and Lu Xu had the impression that he was a teacher. The piles of cash in front of Lu Xu now, all had the face of the teacher whose name Lu Xu could not recall. The collection of gods started from the lowest floor and searched the house one by one, yet could not find anything. When they first came in, they were rude and uncivilized, yet as they confirmed that no one was hiding in the house, they became much politer. In reality, Lu Xu felt that there was no point being polite as they left, since they had conducted a house search without any credentials. Was the collection of gods crazy enough to do such a thing? No wonder there were rumors that the collection of gods was going mad. Lu Xu sighed. It was not unusual for the Heavenly Network to aggressively probe the collection of gods. Anyone with this kind of neighbor would be cautious too. Chiba waited for everyone to leave before very cautiously coming to the second floor. She said, Kiri Hurricane, it's all right now. You can come down. Lu Xu carried Yeko and went down. As he calmed down he suddenly realized, it seemed like there was nothing in Yeko's clothes. Chiba curiously asked, what happened to Sakurai? Was the collection of gods looking for you? There was nothing to hide from Chiba. Since he now had Chiba involved, she had the right to know what was happening. After some thought, Lu Xu said, I killed the higher management of the collection of gods, while Yeko was injured by them. They are certainly looking for us. Chiba hesitated before asking, so you and Sakurai are both practitioners? That's right, Lu Xu nodded in affirmation. Just now you said that you had awakened. What ability did you awaken? When I was in that heavy sleep, it felt like I had fallen into a pit of lava. But the lava could not burn me. Instead, I felt that it was very kind. As Chiba finished speaking, her palm burst into flames. Lu Xu nodded his head. So this was a fire element metahuman. He said, you'd better not casually use your abilities. After awakening, there is the process of adapting. We will go after waiting a little longer. Never, ever tell anyone that you helped us hide. I'm afraid you can't leave. Look outside, said Chiba. Lu Xu drew the curtains and looked out. He realized that after they had finished the search, the collection of gods never left, they had assigned people to be on guard completely blocking them off. Outside, the sounds of Oda Takuma and Kitamura Kijitori battling gradually grew distant. Then Lu Xu felt his phone vibrate. He lay Yeko on the sofa and stepped aside to check. After coming here Lu Xu had three phones, one was his smartphone, the other was given to him by Yu Mingyu specially to transmit information, and the last was Kirihara Yusuks. He had placed his own smartphone in the Seal of Lands, as he could not use his SIM card here. 
The information he had now received was from the heavenly network. Lu Xu took a glance and felt a chill down his spine. He did not think that the heavenly network would know about this situation so quickly, and they had even prepared a retreat route for him. A new identity, or retreat. It looked like either Tanaguchi Bundai or a spy in the collection of gods had successfully connected with the heavenly network. This retreat route was quite timely. Lu Xu had been given two choices. One was to change his appearance and continue about his affairs. The other was to withdraw, since it would make no difference even if he wanted to give up. For some reason, Lu Xu felt that this trip was not as dangerous as he had originally thought. Without any specific task allocated to him, he could do anything he wanted. If any trouble occurred, he could simply withdraw. In reality, killing two class C's and writing the character. Chai. 1. Would not deal serious damage to the collection of gods. But Nye Ting did not seem to care. This feeling, it felt as if they were letting him build a false reputation by sending him to the collection of gods. He had been assigned tasks and deeds, and was sent to the target of common hatred among the heavenly network, the collection of gods. He could withdraw as long as he made use of this reputation. Of course, if he wanted to continue about his affairs, he could certainly do so. What exactly was Nye Ting's intention? Since the Kocheng Island remains, when the Heavenly Network had only sent him and Li Yixiao he had felt that something was not right. Up till this assignment, Lu Xu had felt this feeling grow stronger. Lu Xu had not thought through on his decision. His natural instinct was to not think about it and just settle the problem in front of him. Yeko's breath grew more steady. Lu Xu guessed that she would regain consciousness the next day. As for Chiba, Lu Xu did not know how to explain the situation to her. Chapter 500 A New Identity The atmosphere in the room quickly became quite awkward. Yeko was still unconscious. Chiba suddenly did not know what to say. The person she liked had almost been killed, and she had somehow awakened. She was very bewildered, but at the same time she was also somewhat happy. After Lu Xu had beat up seven of his classmates, Chiba had guessed that Kirihara Yusuk was a practitioner. Every time she harbored such a thought, she would feel that the distance between them had widened. But today had proven that she, too, had become a special existence in the eyes of her classmates. From Chiba's perspective, the distance between them seemed to have narrowed now. Lu Xu was reflecting on his decision to come to Japan. To speak the truth, he now felt that it was right of him to come here, even though there was no inheritance to receive. As Li Ishio had said, domestic affairs had their own constraints. But when it came to foreign affairs, things were different. It was the same no matter who you tricked, but on the flip side, the others were planning to trick you as well. Let alone an organization like the Collection of Gods. Lu Xu would not have an ounce of emotional burden if he were to trick them. The Heavenly Network suddenly provided a retreat route just as he was about to unlock the third nebula. Lu Xu found himself not wanting to go back just yet. Distress points were so easy to earn here, he decided to leave only after he had unlocked it. As for Yeko, he would wait until her wounds healed and she regained her movement before letting her go. Right now, there was no safe place in Japan where she could take shelter. Perhaps Oda Takuma would die tonight. If not, a class B called Takashima Tairatsu had yet to make his move. Lu Xu definitely wanted to pick fights, but there were too many class Bs gathering. Even if it were just Lu Xu, he would not do something that would incur losses for both parties, only to benefit another. Just as Lu Xu had found a suitable place for Yeko and prepared to carefully analyze the new identity provided by the Heavenly Network, Chiba suddenly said, Kirihara-kun, you can be rest assured staying here. My parents are only coming back at the end of next week, so there is no need to worry. Lu Xu had not been concerned about this at all. He suddenly became curious as he recalled the money concealed in the attic. He asked Chiba, what do your parents do for a living? I'm not sure either, Chiba shook her head. They never let me ask them that sort of question. 
They only want me to focus on studying and get into the University of Nishinokyo. Lu Xu had wanted to ask whether her family had a business that made quick cash, as he was very interested. But from her answer, even Chiba was not sure what her parents did for a living. Lu Xu guessed, storing that amount of money in the attic and not in the bank. Perhaps it was some sort of illegal business. They did not talk much for the rest of the night. It was as if Chiba was somewhat flustered, while Lu Xu had still not figured out how to explain his situation to Chiba. Lu Xu only had the time to properly analyze his new identity once before he settled in the guest room. His new identity was Yamada Akira, a Class C, key driver, and an assistant. One week ago, it was suspected that he was related to a deceased conservative member, and was thus marginalized from society. Now he was in charge of a warehouse in Nishinokyo. This warehouse was not that important. It only stored some common chemical reagents and ingredients like sodium-potassium alloys. It was a job that anyone could do. But just like the security guard at the Collection of Gods Mansion, the Collection of Gods and the Phoenix Society were different. The former took all the practitioners in their organization to be spare parts of a machine. There were valuable spare parts, and there were spare parts that were not as important. As for Yamada Akira, he most likely played the role of a screw. He only had Class D training, low credentials, and no good friends. Previously he had been promoted for his serious work attitude, yet now he was being marginalized. Lu Xu took a look at his physical appearance, build and height, as well as the amount of time he had spent interacting with the conservatives. He suddenly felt as if Nia Ting had specifically prepared this identity for him. After coming to Japan, he could immediately take on the identity reserved for him. In any case, Lu Xu could only change his physical appearance, but not completely become another person. He believed that Nia Ting was also very clear of this fact. Hence, the identity Lu Xu needed was not to be an important intelligence personnel. In terms of gathering intelligence, even a Class D could do a better job than Lu Xu could. What Lu Xu needed was a position that protected and reduced the chances of others exposing his true identity. Lu Xu suddenly realized how frightening it was for the Heavenly Network, a large practitioner's organization, to provide services for someone. This kind of resource was not available to just any organization. This was true heritage. The information emphasized that after Lu Xu had taken on this identity, Yamada would be sent back in secret to work in the Heavenly Network. Lu Xu thought about it. This identity was not bad, and could even allow an intelligence agent to return to his native land. This seemed like a very good decision. For some reason he suddenly thought about Tanaguchi Bundai. Although she did not want to return to her country, he could not help but hold great respect for them. This group, they must be suffering a lot on the inside. That night, Lu Xu ate the celestial fruit which promoted levels, and successfully illuminated the sixth star. The seventh star was still far from being lit. Lu Xu had to do something big. Lu Xu felt that the collection of gods could not blame him. The seventh star was worth 3.2 million distress points, which was a huge number. He could not progress by doing nothing. If the collection of gods knew the truth, they would definitely empathize with him. Lu Xu once again renewed his thirst for distress points. Lu Xu awoke before dawn. He knocked on Chiba's door and heard her voice coming from inside. Who is it? Kiri Harikin, is that you? Um, it's me. I just want to say, it's now 3 a.m. You can sleep for a while more. From Chiba's distress, plus 666. Lu Xu returned to his room. He silently whispered to himself, what other ways are there to earn distress points? With Class B in his sights, Lu Xu started to become obsessed. The collection of gods was still providing a steady stream of distress points, especially with the wave of points at 2 a.m. They had probably gone home, only to see the character, Chai, one on their door. Lu Xu felt that he had good foresight. There was no way for them to clean the red paint overnight. 
even if they did clean it off, they would have to repaint the entire exterior to maintain the color of the house. If they did not finish cleaning up today, Lu Shu would continue earning distress points. In particular, Ketamori Kijitori was providing an especially large amount of distress points to Lu Shu. An increase of 999 points. This made Lu Shu more interested in the two words, Kitamura Kijitori. What does it mean to be happy? Cause it looks like we all don't know. Glass half full or empty. And we just put them on the show Try to look to the heavens 